For most of his long life, Alan DeHart has been walking, actually hiking, from one end of North Carolina to the other, from the mountains to the coast, and most everywhere in between wherever our state's extensive network of hiking trails calls him. More often than not, we find him walking behind his measuring wheel, whose insistent clicks are no doubt music to the ears as he steps off the miles on North Carolina's Mountains to the Sea Trail that runs through 37 counties and still is in the process of being built. We're working on the East Coast and we're working in the mountains and continuing to work uh, here in the middle of the state. This is the Durham area in here. And this is the route that we are working on today. We have finished about 500 miles uh, out of a total expected somewhere between 930 or 950 and maybe even 1,000 miles. Well, welcome to another Falls Lake work day. <coughs> This morning, between 60 and 70 volunteers have gathered in the Triangle to cut a two to three mile trail through the pine woods. Today we started where that not anything had been done except the flagging. And that's been done over the years to be sure that we were within the boundary line of Corps of Engineers. The Corps, for those of you who don't know, actually own and, and manage this land and then much of it is leased to the state. Um, so we've worked with the state, um, with several counties, and of course with you guys as the great group that you are to get this trail where it is today. My uh, suggestion is everybody take two tools. Take a fire rake and a digging tool or, or a lopper. It's thick, folks. It's really thick in there. If you leave stuff there, it will grow back sooner. No trees have been cut or anything. There's lots of briars. Nothing's uncomfortable. We got men, we got tools. In 1996, 97, I started recognizing that the Mountains of the Sea Trail may never be built if we don't have more volunteers doing the work. Because the Division of Parks and Recreation did not have a budget of funding, we formed the Friends of the Mountains to the Sea Trail, and that is a nonprofit organization. Then we'd be able to recruit volunteers and have the trail constructed. to follow from park to park, forest to forest, going through towns and maybe some cities, but where possible to be a foot trail uh, in the wilderness. And it's going to be a trail of tomorrow. One probably that's going to last as long as, uh, as anything else lasts. It'll be a, a permanent trail, and we're all excited about uh, this. Alan DeHart seems to have been born to this task. As a Virginia farm boy, he grew up walking old roads and backwoods trails. And at only nine or 10, was a water boy for Civilian Conservation Corps workers building the Appalachian Trail along the Blue Ridge Parkway. Give him practically any excuse and he'll have his hiking shoes on and out the door. As of today, we've had 15 who have hiked or hiked and biked across the state. It took uh, Alan Household and myself two months and 11 days uh, to do the hiking part. But we probably have more than four or 5,000 who are just hiking sections or pieces of it. The Mountains to the Sea Trail intersects with other well-traveled trails along the way, including the Appalachian Trail and a number of North Carolina trails. I'm on uh, my way uh, to Ball Knob doing some remeasuring of the Mountains to the Sea Trail. Uh, it needs to be checked on occasionally since we sometimes have to revise a short piece of it. If a dependable mountain spring needs to have an accumulation of leaves cleaned out, Alan is game. Or perhaps a tree needs to be cleared away. And that big pine, uh, killed probably by a pine beetle, uh, we needed to cut it out for safety reasons. I hate to see anything in the trail. Soon he'll be out of sight, the ever-present clicks of his measuring wheel fading into the background hush of the mountain forest, where rhododendron 
Laurel, and even some hopeful but inevitably blighted chestnut sprouts may be seen beside the trail, waiting quietly for the next hiker to come by and appreciate them. The Bald Knob Trail, with its three dozen or so switchbacks, is tough going for many, but all in a day's climb for a man who's hiked more than 56,000 miles measuring trails for his many successful guidebooks. My cardiologist said to me one day, uh, what keeps uh, you healthy and young at 82 years old? I said, one is that I've taught 52 years as a professor in a college. If nothing more, it makes me feel young and I have to try to act young. And I said, the other is, I seem to have this obsession is to get out and walk a trail. Here we have finally reached Ball Knob. My reading is uh, 16,188 uh, feet from where we started on Old Forest Road. From way up here, you ought to be able to see the future. And if Alan DeHart has anything to say about it, and of course he does, it will be a future with nearly a thousand miles of trail completed. From Clayman's Dome in the Smokies, through the Piedmont, sand hills, and coastal plain, all the way to Jockey's Ridge State Park on the Outer Banks, where the mountains to the sea trail ends atop the East Coast's tallest sand dune. If anybody mentions a trail, I want to know where it is. And if it hasn't been hiked, I will. And measured if possible.